The fourth red flag of bullying is pro-intellectual property actions. Pro-intellectual property actions reduce community efficiency by not declaring public domain licenses on public information and slash war by not sharing works with other people to use in other future works to publish, to market, to entertain, and slash war, to educate. And also, anti-plagiarism policies reduce the chances of success in education or in business. Pro-intellectual property actions also go into the paragraph of denying permission permanently on purpose that I explained earlier. Most authors of any media care about credit, about royalty money, and about legal power instead of the general public like the fans of respective authors. Thanks to LegalZoom, to InventHelp, to Page Publishing, and to other pro-intellectual property businesses. On January 18, 2012, there was an internet blackout thanks to pro-intellectual property laws. There are pro-intellectual property acts that anti-intellectual property people like me cannot stand, like Protect Intellectual Property Act, PIPA, like Stop Online Piracy Act, SOPA, and like U.S. Digital Millennium Copyright Act. One of these days, there will be no more original ideas for everyone, present slash future generations. In this world, due to the laws of trademark slash patent slash copyright, in a simile, a specific type of species will become extinct if Hunters keep killing that specific species. In another simile, there will be a time that we will be out of fresh permutations of phone numbers, of usernames, and of internet domain names. If we keep adding more accounts of these. As a mathematician and as a libertarian, the more trademarks slash patents slash copyrights filed, the less the chances of a fresh idea for a newcomer, the less the chances of honor for a newcomer the more the nonsensical prohibitions. If the serious enforcement of laws of trademark slash patent slash copyright keeps up, there will be no more material hope, no more continuation for life, confirmedly blaming communities as truth, Depression, fear of people, loneliness, and suicide. Pro-intellectual property actions must be outlawed and dishonorable. And people who commit to pro-intellectual property actions should be seriously charged for selfishness, and I do not care how honorable pro-intellectual property people are. Thanks to
pro-intellectual property actions, victims of pro-intellectual property actions will never get their respective harmless visions into reality. According to 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10, the love of money is the root of all evil. And God should add that the love of legal actions is the root of all evil too. God gets the credit, not humans. The fifth red flag of bullying is money laundering. The ways that government makes money wrongly by stealing are licensing fees. People in the law field want you to be convinced that you need a specific license for a specific activity. Penalizing people, whether the fined slash detainee is guilty or not, the government will get the money of the find slash detainee by fines, by ransom, by lawyer's fees, or by other ridiculous fees, taxing innocent people and civil asset forfeitures. The truth is that government wants to get rich quickly by those wrong ways that I mentioned so the government can live forever and can rule forever. And so the pawn people can be put to death. What happened to the quote, crime does not pay? This is hypocritical because crime pays to people in authority, but not to pawn people. And this is another example of preferential treatment that People in high power get more because they are in high power. And that pawn people get less because they are pawn people. Once again, according to 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10, the love of money is the root of all evil and God should add that the love of legal actions is the root of all evil too. Part 4 will continue next time.